Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to Pokemon Dawn. Last episode, we finally got through that cave we were stuck at two episodes ago, and we met Sabrina, who saw us die. And if a second saw a vision of us dying, I think that means that, well, we already know how this story is going to end for uh, Drake here. Anyways, with that aside, we also helped out Mike with the soda machine, and Croc has learned Hydro Pump because of that. Now, I don't know this girl's name. I should because she's like the leader of uh, this new team that uh, we're, we're a part of now. But we're going to talk to her and we're going to see what's next for us. So let's go. Oh, Mayra. That's her name. Okay. Hello, Drake. Yo. Uh, let me guess. The chances to leave this town are decreasing, right? You go like a bow at a gate. Yeah. I recently heard that one before. I have to admit that it doesn't look well at this time. I hope our guys are back soon. I wouldn't rely on them if I were you. Huh? There must be a way to avoid that... system. Eh? There is some guy... in Saffron City. Some sort of... hacker? A young man who knows how to handle computer systems and stuff like that. Are you talking about Bill? He doesn't live in Saffron City, does he? He is well known in Saffron City. But nobody knows him in person. Well, if nobody's met this person or knows him in person, um... How is he well known? Like, I get that maybe his name is like known as Legend, but is it possible to be well, well known, but at the same time, nobody knows what you look like or anything about you at all? He is some weird guy. Maybe he could help us, if he is still alive, that is. Some nerd who is always sitting in front of a PC? Great, just great. And some guy that is supposed to get us out of here? Well, let me ask you this. Who else should we ask? Either this boy, or we still wait for the rest of our group that is still out there. I, I think we'll go talk to the hacker. We'll talk to the nerd. Where does this computer freak live? Do you want to give it a try? Would I ask where he lives if I didn't want to give it a try? Think, woman, think! Of course. Sitting here around and waiting won't help anything. Hmm. Okay, then. Do you remember when you entered Saffron City from the south entrance? How could I forget? You can see his house when you are at the south entrance and head to the right. Alright, south entrance, head to the right, got it. Believe me though, he is a weird guy. Hey, I met a lot of uh, weirdos and freaks uh, during my adventure since coming here to uh, Vermilion City and now Saffron City. I think I can handle it. Everybody is trying to avoid his house. Some people say he is staring at the passing people. Okay, that's kind of creepy, but at least he's not eating flesh like, uh, you know, like the zombies. I've seen a lot of freaks tonight. No problem for me. But you accidentally don't have a key to enter his house. Am I right? Well, he, he's a weirdo. Why, why would I have the key that belongs to the house of a weirdo that nobody wants to talk to? N no, of, of course not. Maybe he is opening the door for you? Maybe? I, I wish you luck anyways. Alright. Uh, see you later. Well, great! We're gonna be talking to a freak! <laughs> a freak and a nerd who is uh, a hacker and is hopefully going to help us. Alright, so the south entrance and head to the right from there. So, it's gotta be this door, right? It's locked. W what do we do now? Just knock or what? Tow, tow. I guess we're gonna knock. Great, what now? Oh, he unlocked it for us. I was thinking we were just gonna break right in. Sounds like someone unlocked the door. Uh, let, let's just go in. I still have one berry. I do want to reserve, uh, well, my final recovery from, uh, the, the center, you know? I guess I'll use this berry just to give me some health back. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Only lost five points of damage. We'll be okay with this. Hello, weirdo. There we are. I knew it would look like this. What a nerd. Hey, freak! <laughs> Did you just open the door for us or something? Uh, yes. That was me. I observed you through the camera that installed on my die. 
So then the rumors are true. You are a hacker at rat rumors. I know a lot of rumors about me that I'm kind of strange and I'm kind of a freak and I watch people as I walk by. That's the best uh, nerd voice I can pull off. I'm sorry. <laughs> that the funniest rumor is that the people claim that I'm working for Team Rocket. Isn't that crazy? It's very amazing that the people think that about me. Actually, I mean the rumor that you are observing the people through a camera. Oh, wait, whatever, that's not important. This has a certain reason. I don't want any strangers in front of my door. And of course, no zombies as well. I knew that some horrifying disease will happen. <laughs> and I'm absolutely prepared, as you can see. But when I'm talking about a disease, then I mean rather a flu. And now, a apocalypse. I see. You are prepared. Your fridge was all empty when I passed by. Uh, yeah, uh, some guy usually provides me food, but y yeah, you see, yeah. I actually never leave my house. Of course you don't! <laughs> the air outside is dead that day. But not as dirty as your hair. Yeah, what, what, what did you say? Uh, nothing. Never mind that, okay? Let me get back to the point, okay? Listen, somebody told me that you are a brilliant hacker. And the fact that you could unlock those gates. I just want to get out of this city. Hmm. Who said that I'm a brilliant hacker anyways? A girl named Mayra. Eh. Yeah. A girl. Is he pretty? Oh wow, that's pretty much what he said. He used a different word, but that's pretty much what he said. <laughs> Does she like nerds like me? Um, sure! Let's say she does! Now listen to me, you clown! We have to get all the city before we all bite the dust. You understand that, don't you? And you are thinking about girls who could like you? I mean, you! Really, are you serious? Wow, so mean, Drake, but yeah, I had to put him in his place, so he got me. <laughs> Who? Uh, hmm. I, yeah. Uh, but that, uh, that, that's not important. Are you in a group? Are, are there a lot of people? Are there, are there pretty girls besides this Mayra? Yes, we got a lot of people over there. It's in the office building. The building where documents of the whole city are stored? Yeah, exactly. You know about it? Hmm. Yeah. Sounds interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, much better to run here without any groceries, am I right? Whoop, whoop, oh, that's the... that's not good. Again, the damn earthquake! Yes, I noticed it before. I recently hacked the earthquake dodge device. And the weird thing is that the source of the earthquake is beyond the Silk Cove building. That, that's not, not normal, you see. And the earthquake intensity, it raises every time there's an earthquake. The whole city is going to shatter if the earthquakes keep up. If this happens, then we got an apocalypse outside, and we can't stay in any house. And it really will be the end of the world. Well, great. You have more bad news for me, genius? Uh, not yet, no. I could open the Silk Cove building when I was in the office. The computer network there has the same domain. Then I can look what's the reason for this. Okay then, you're coming with me. And uh, yes, I shall do that. Wish I had some groceries left. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Uh, we don't really want to call you a freak. Uh, my, my name? Uh, it's been a few years since someone asked what my name is that I don't I don't know what my name is. The people usually call me nerd, a super nerd, a hacker. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut straight to the point. My my name is Sebastian. Not really a name I expected for a nerd, but okay. And, and you are Drake. Now let's get out of here. Uh, uh, of course. Alright, Sebastian has joined the party. You guys know the deal when we're, uh, recruiting, or not recruiting, but, uh, bringing survivors back to our hideout. If we get hurt, the person that we have with us 
also gets hurt. That is a lot of uh, walking dead now. Oh boy. Hey, lady! Over here! There. Eh. Eh. Hey, where are you going? Stupid hound door. Mag, not my. Oh god. Eh. Over here. Ow! Eh. Eh. There we go. Oh, hello. Alright. Is there any else that's still alive? I want to kill them all. Alright. No one down there in the graveyard. Alright. Well, let's go. Uh, wrong side, by the way. But let's go back to our headquarters. Welcome to your new home, buddy. Well, we're here and I got the nerd. Well, I'm actually in the office building. I always dreamed about it, but here are so many humans. He doesn't see the daylight that often. Like at all. Oh, hello. Welcome back. Yeah, I brought you that computer freak you told me about. <laughs> I guess the clients and servers are upstairs, right? Um, what? Uh, the PC stuff is upstairs, right? Uh, yes. Sure. Don't you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Sebastian. Nice to meet you, or something like that. Uh, bye. <laughs> and he's gone. He doesn't like to talk with people that much. He doesn't really like people in general. Kind of like me in that regard. Well, there! We got him! Our computer freak! Happy now? I hope he is useful! I'm sure that he can help us with that one. He mentioned the earthquakes earlier. He knows where it comes from. He said it comes from the Silk Co building. So? That's... that's weird. You should talk to him because I won't. My assignment is done. Uh, you're right. I I'll, I'll try to talk to him. Thank you very much, Drake. Ask nothing more from me. And we fade to black. What's wrong with you, father? Why did you disappear? What kind of secrets do you have to hide? What are you up to? What's the truth about Team Rocket? And the truth about you? And why did you contact me today of all days? Today, when I arrive to Kanto, I will come to Viridian City. This audacity will end tonight. I don't want to hang around with those losers here. I'm not a damn gopher. I will take every chance to get out of here and leave those idiots behind. I'm not far away, father. Right. Uh, seems like uh, Mayra is back. Uh, let's talk to her. Uh, before I do that, I am going to save and I'm going to see what everyone else has to say. Hmm. Even if the underground path didn't work, I'm still pretty sure we will all make it. We stick together, kiddo. Hey, Drake. Uh, what's up? Uh, get some well-deserved Pokesoft drink. Can I? The sewing machine is already open. It's good that we have those drinks. Oh, okay. Alright. Mero! Mero! Yo, Drake. Uh, at least we're over a million. Better than nothing, right? I think we all made a big step today. You don't really say anything different at, at all. Hi, Drake. I'm up here helping Nurse Joy with the medical attention. Take care. Th thank you. I'm glad that we are here. It was way too dangerous in Vermilion City. I mean, it's still dangerous around here and everything, but I, I didn't read that last part. Let me uh, try again. But I'm feeling safe in here. All right, well, you don't have anything different to say either. And Sebastian doesn't even notice me. He is sitting on a computer like a zombie. Typical nerd. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna talk to Mavera because everyone else doesn't really have much to say. Oh, Drake. Is there something new you want to tell me? Did this guy find out how we can get out of here? Uh, no. N not yet. But, I talked with him about the earthquakes. He typed something into the computer. 
this building is connected to the silk code. He explained it to me, but I don't know how this computer stuff is working. But he found out that the source of the earthquakes is in the cellar of the silk code building. He told us that. I, I kind of told that you, told you that. And that another disaster will happen in Saffron City if the earthquakes are to go on. But he doesn't exactly know what is causing these earthquakes. Maybe some machine has a malfunction or something like that? Silco has a lot of machines and chemicals that never have been tested, you see. That's why this is so dangerous. I see the Silco building. Tcha! Guess we can't handle a second disaster. Well, no, we, we can't. Sebastian said that he opened the Silco with the computer. So you want me to go down there to the cellar? Um, no. I didn't want you to think that, but that is kind of what I'm implying and hoping for. My life does matter too, you know, so I will go down there. Let's see what I can find. Um, okay, if you really want to do that, but please take care, Drake. Yeah, whatever. I think this won't be a big deal. I'll see you around. Alright, let's save. And well, we're going into the Silk Code building. Oh, joy. Hello, Silk Code. It's been years since I saw this building. Seems like the Silk Code building was hit by the plague, too. How does that surprise you? Every place has been hit by the plague. Yep, everybody is uh, kind of dead. I can't go upstairs. Out of order. So we have no choice but to go downstairs. That's kind of disappointing. I want to see what was upstairs in this building. Oop, I see a Pokeball. Please be something healing. An antidote. I haven't really been getting poisoned much, so that doesn't really help me. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hi. You must be the source of the earthquakes. Oh, shit. How did this Eridalos become so huge? Well, that's the source of the earthquakes, all right. This monster started a rampage. It's the cause of the earthquakes. We have to fight it. I'll take cover. You kill it. Tag tow. Yeah, leave it all up uh, to... Ow. All right, here's what we're going to do. The old run and ow. The old run and hide. So it shoots, and then I shoot, and... Okay, I know it's the flaw of my plan. Oh, oh shit, uh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dead, yep, okay. I, I see the flaw of my plan. <laughs> okay. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh, pack. Antidote. Oh dear. Alright, let's kill your friend. I'm poisoned again and I have no more. Oh, well, I'm. It was nice knowing me. Uh, rest in peace, Croc. Uh oh, another one. Yeah, okay, I can't let that happen. That is one thing that can't happen to me. We're gonna be here for a while. Buckle down, guys. Oh god. Alright, we're both in a red. This really could go either way. We did it! Nice! That was pretty tough! Yeah, seems like we managed this situation. Uh, time to go back. We still gotta find a way out of the city. Tag, 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 tag. So what's in this door? I can't go in? Okay. Nothing really in here to interact with. I'm gonna to have to heal. I'd really rather not, but... I'm kind of very low on health. 
Hey! Uh, I'll take you guys in a bit. I need to heal up. Hey, who the hell are you? Yeah, you can heal my Pokemon one more time. I kind of need you doing that, like, right now. Thank you. Alright, who are you? Oof! It was pretty hard outside, rather than usual. We were looking for food supplies. We found a few... Oh, you're the people that, uh... That we were waiting for. Okay. We were looking for food supplies. We found a few things. But it's getting more dangerous out there. Right. And you're... You must be the other guy. He's got nothing to say. Well, your friends came back at least. At least they're alive, right? Hello, Drake. The earthquakes are gone. I think we owe you this one. Yeah, we killed a giant spider that was uh, the cause of them. Yeah, an infected Pokemon was the reason. But it's gone now, so the earthquakes are no longer a problem. Oh, that, that sounds great. And our two boys are back. Did they find something out? Something like an escape row or anything like that? Uh, unfortunately, no, but I'm glad they are back and alive. This quick's over there. Is this one of your boys? Uh, yes. Th that is Henry over there. I would be a little careful if I were you. He is pretty arrogant. And I've already noticed that he is slightly aggressive. Hey, it's on a Drake who is aggressive himself and pretty arrogant himself. So, this could be a disaster, I agree. But he brought us a lot of supplies and we are all thankful for that. Oh, and the other guy, Black Belt Ralph, is upstairs. He is pretty cool. You could say he is the exact opposite of Henry. So he's the exact opposite of me then too, okay. You should talk to him. Uh, why? Why should I? I'm not here to find some new friends. If he wants something from me, then he should talk to me. Okay. What's wrong? Why are you so mad? Drake? Maybe Ralph could help you. But don't be like that, okay? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm confused! Picture of Drake tells me Drake is talking, but name says Mayra, which tells me Mayra is talking. Who is... Who is talking right now? Well, I'm gonna trust the, the name that it's Mayra. Anyway, thank you for solving this problem with the earthquakes. Yeah, it sounds like that's Mayra, so Drake's picture really shouldn't be there. Yeah, but think about this fact. We are still trapped in this city. <sighs> I know, I know. I'm certain that we will find a solution sooner or later. Sebastian is still working on something. Yeah, I sure hope so. So far, I don't think we made a good decision saving that nerd. Hey, uh, hey Drake? Uh, come over here, please. Um... Okay, well, I'm actually gonna end this episode here. I was told to, uh, talk to Ralph. Simon wants me to talk to him. I'm gonna talk to Ralph first before I talk to, uh, Simon. But I'm gonna be doing that next time, so that's gonna do it for today. Thank you, everyone, for joining me in coming back to Pokemon Dawn. I really hope you guys are enjoying this, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.